Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Maria Soreo. On Saturday, March 16th, the PV Juniors will hold their annual charity event at Trump National. It's called Moulin Rouge and two of the members of the PV Juniors are joining me today. Uh, we have with us Deborah Ritchie Bray, who is the president, and Sheila Baru, you are the philanthropic chair. Is that right? You've got it right. All Thank right. You. Ladies, thanks so much for being with us. I want to talk about the event, of course, at Trump. But first, let's just talk about the PV Juniors. There are so many groups, and I'm very curious to find out how you became involved with the, with the group. We'll start um, with you. Well, I have been involved for, this will be, this is my third year. Okay. And I really got involved because of other women that had been in the club and meet, knowing some of them. And... You know, the women that are in the group are so dynamic and just beautiful people that, you know, I thought, you know, I want to be more involved on, with things that are actually in our community, right. you know, in Palos Verdes and, and RPV. And so it's, it's a, a group of women that really, you know, do things for the community here. You know, I think that's so nice. And Sheila, talking with you a little bit off camera, I love the fact that it's women who are working professionals, they're stay-at-home moms. It's a kind of a combination because I think that chemistry brings everybody together with their different passions. And it's so true. I mean, we say that we're, we start at age 21. Okay. And you can join at any age, and there is no age limitation. So we that's have great. women in their 60s, their 50s, their 40s, 30s, and 20s. And most of the women, I would say, you know, um, I think what they share is having a, a huge heart oh, and, yeah. and wanting to be able to give back. Huh? Yeah. So many of us have been working so hard raising our families or, sure. you know, and or building our careers that we've often thought about, gosh, if I could just find an organization where it really touched me. Right. And what, what drew me uh, is that I have a friend who is also a former president in the organization who has lots of children, uh, an un unbelievable career, oh. and married, and, and just has her plate full, and yet she found the time to lead this organization the way Deborah is now. And wow. I was, you know, I was so, I guess, um, I think that that humility that you see in women I think you're who, right. who say, I'm gonna carve out a piece of my time yep. to give to others in our own community who really don't have uh, the basics. Right. who maybe have been mistreated. And, and we can go through and talk a little bit about some you know, of that. I yeah, do, because you wonderful. guys have so many um, worthy you know, people that you donate money to. Um, Boys and Girls Club of LA Harbor, Exceptional Children's Foundation, New Life Advocacy. How do you decide where the funds go? Because there's so many worthwhile charities out there. Deb, well, do you want to cover that? Well, every to... year we have a committee that okay. looks at the charities. People do, uh, you know, asked to have to be reviewed every year and right. we have a committee that really looks into the charities and looks at how much money um, each of the charity is requesting and um, Sheila is actually helping to head that committee this year so wow. let me let her talk that's a, a little huge bit undertaking about for you <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's the one thing that and the scholarship work I think right. are the two most important things that that really um, make a difference for me. They're the places I wanted to be as, as much as I could. Okay. Um, so we have 10 women on the committee okay. and we had 10 applicants, 10 philanthropic organizations apply this year. Wow. And as Deborah was saying, every year people apply. Huh? We have a pretty strong due diligence process where yes. we look at That's their financials, right. we interview them, we make site visits, usually in twos. Two members of the committee will go out and, and meet with these different philanthropic organizations and they really have to meet all of our criteria, which include women and children in crisis. Mm -hmm. uh, absolutely, women and children in crisis is the foundational mission of PV Junior Women's Club. And so we get these applications. We, we go through a process of interviews and writing things up and reviewing them carefully. And then the board votes and then the general membership votes on which philanthropies to, to give money to. And then the amounts that we're able to provide are determined after we've added up what we've been able to raise from our two major fundraisers. You know, I think it's so important too because you talk about going out and meeting people and seeing what the organizations are really about. It's got to be so touching to go out and meet people that actually need help. They need your help. Yes. You know? Yes. Every year the um, affiliates, go, do, we do a hands-on project and then we have other hands-on projects that we actually uh, that are called heart prints that so we actually involve mm. the the children of the organization That's great. because it's so important that um, children actually learn at an early age that not everyone has everything 
Isn't that and the truth, especially where we are right now? I think that people, they don't know. Kids don't know what's going on outside right. of, you know, the world. And to show them is so very important. Yes. Absolutely. And we're actually working on a, a group um, trying to get the teens more involved also. That's so great. It's, it's really important to, to learn that and to give back to the community. And then what about the scholarships? How does that work for picking who you give them to? So there's a scholarship committee okay. that is underneath the, the VP of Philanthropy. Okay. And that committee uh, also has several members. Mm -hmm. And students who are high school, they're graduating high school, uh, Rancho Del Mar, uh, the two local PV high schools, are the three, to the best of my knowledge, that okay. are, are, are what we draw from. And well, having the 90274 and, nine, and 90275. Right. So it, it needs to be within those, within those, those two area okay. codes. So any high school within that range. Um, and then the students, uh, really, again, they go through a, a pretty deep process of submitting an application, being interviewed by the committee. Some of the students that we've helped have even already been in college, and they apply again for some ongoing support. And these kids, Maria, are unbelievable. I bet. The, yeah, that's amazing. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes it's a single family. Sometimes there's a disabled parent. The child is getting straight A's, doing community service, wow. doing sports, helping out at home, earning a living. And a lot of us just don't realize how many kids within the zip codes that serve the PV Peninsula are really in a situation where they just really don't have anything for themselves. So we try to help fill the gap. Have you ever seen any of them years later when they come back and they're successful and they're working and doing things afterward? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. We have uh, women and uh, that one of the women uh, that has graduated, she actually has donated every oh. year. She has sort of a, so a fund that she's she's contributes to the scholarship fund every year, which is really wow. wonderful. That's so nice because you get to actually see it in action, which, you know, yes. I think that is just so special. Yeah, and at dis disbursement is in, um, is in May, and that's really when we give away the money that we raise for the year. And that is a time where uh, some of the charities come in and actually speak and talk about what the benefits are of, of what we, you know, of the scholarships as we've um, given away and some of the the other funds to, to us, the charities. It's really a moving time. Now, I know you all are very busy putting the event together, of course, for Trump, but take us into one of your meetings. What are your meetings like? Give us like a behind the scenes. What do you guys do? Uh, well, we have um, a meeting once a month. Okay. And it's, it's really fun. We have um, usually the affiliates start just to, uh, at 6 o'clock, and then at 6.30 we have social hour. Okay. You know, so we have a, a time that we really are able to just sort of um, say hi and, um, you know, regroup with everyone and um, have, we have dinner and, and then we have our meeting that starts at 7 and at that meeting we really go through the planning process for the, for the year. In the, um, in the fall it's really the holiday event and now we're big into the spring. So we right. have, uh, we're doing the Moulin Rouge event. Yep. And so we're getting ready for the the Can Can Girls oh. at the event. So that's <laughs> going that. to be fabulous. And uh, we uh, have auctioneers, you know, that are out gathering things. So we we like to celebrate. You know, anytime we get an auction item, we celebrate. I heard your silent yeah. auction is just off the hook amazing. <laughs> yes, it was great. We yes, great there's event. some fantastic trips and, yes. and really wonderful things that people will donate and uh, experiences. One thing I wanted to say about the meetings, if I could add yeah, a little something to you what bet. Deborah was saying, is tonight, for example, mm -hmm. we'll have Harbor Interfaith Shelter's oh, executive director so coming amazing. in, yeah, and she will like be speaking. Yeah. And then we will be collecting some toiletries and some canned oh, goods wow. for them. And then in previous meetings, we've had Providence Trinity Kids Hospice speak. And so Deborah will try to include one of our philanthropies, you know, as often as possible mm -hmm. in the general meetings because that gives all the members and the brand new affiliate members that it's their first year, so they're called affiliates their first year, then they become active members. But it gives everybody who didn't get a chance to interview the philanthropy an inside view. Exactly. And they you get, get to it's sort a of touch. experience it. Right. And it's right. and it's really wonderful to be able to do that. So we love when they come, and we love when some of the kids come that have received scholarships and come in and speak. And so it just kind it of makes it close it to your heart. Very when, when close you have one heart. of those scholarships come in and they talk about what we're doing and how it really helps, it just 
really makes you makes you feel good and makes you want to go out and get those auction items. It makes you want to work harder. Makes you want to work sure. harder. <laughs> and right, you know, and the, the event effort. is so much fun. So it's you know not only you know it's hard work, but it's a big celebration. Now, if people want to join the PB Juniors, how do they do that? What's your criteria? How often? All that good stuff. Well, we have. Uh, open sort of into the club in the, in the fall. Okay. Um, August would be starting the next year. Uh, we have several different events. Um, obviously, you're welcome to come to the spring fundraiser uh, to get to know us a little bit. Okay. We'd love to have anyone that would like to come and be part of our event. And then uh, during the summer, we typically have a, sort of an open party that um, is, is for fun, just for people to get to know us again. But we have on the website, you can look at okay. um, yeah. pbjuniors.org. Mm -hmm. Which I was at. It was very good. <laughs> very nice. And, uh, so you can actually apply for an application. And, you know, we really welcome women, anyone over 21 uh, that is in the community, um, in the, on the Palos Verdes Peninsula. Uh, we do have some women uh, that are outside of the, of the peninsula, but most, um, it's, it's, we only allow 15% of women that are outside of the area. Interesting. And uh, it's, so it's, it's pretty easy to join. Okay. You know, we are very, um, we, we like to say that we don't have any drama, you know. So right. That's we, nice. We, we, <laughs> we love, uh, you know, uh, women from all walks, you know, really that are stay-at-home moms, um, community leaders, mm -hmm. uh, people that are in law and business, and a lot of medical professionals. You know, people that, if you have a big heart, we, we welcome you. And, you know, I think it's so nice because we're all busy. Everybody's busy. But when you have something and a place you enjoy going, women you enjoy yes. hanging out with, talking with, laughing with, um, yes. discussing important issues, and doing really good charity work, it's just such a different environment, you yeah. know? So it's fun. So important. Okay, so let's talk about the event a little bit more here. So it's going to be at Trump. Black tie optional, what's the dress? We have to talk about that. <laughs> it, it is black tie optional. Okay. Uh, we like to call it our grown-up prom. Okay, we like that. Yeah. That's fine. We, we love to, you know, wear the, the black tie, you of know, course. get our husbands to you know, That's wear right. black tie. And, you know, but it's it's not mandatory. So okay. So it is optional. Uh, and it's, this year, like I said, the Can Can Girls will be there to open the event. Uh, we'll start with a grand auction. Nice. Uh, you know, where we'll have... Lots of trips and opportunity drawings, and um, and then we have a puppy this year that we're going to auction <gasps> off. Wow! Yeah, that's a multi poo. We just um, we just picked him up yesterday. So, so when you're talking live auction, you really mean yeah, live, live auction, <laughs> live auction <laughs> items. So that's great. And so he's just adorable. Aww. I get to go see him today. Oh, that's great. And then what yeah. time is the event taking place on, on the Saturday evening? Uh, it'll start at uh, six o'clock. Okay. And we have a special um, champagne um, sort of toast for the uh, people that are our corporate sponsors, okay. our major donors, that uh, we welcome them in early so that they have an opportunity to look at the auction items before everyone else gets there. Uh, so that's something that's, that's nice that we do for them. And then, um, then we open the hall for everyone to, to come in and, and enjoy nice. sit-down dinner and um, sort of a, a show and an auction and should be fun. Tell us about some mm -hmm. of your sponsors because that's such an important part of everything that you do for charity, of course. We've been really fortunate to have a lot of businesses that repeatedly have been bronze, silver, and gold sponsors so of nice. the event and Deb, yes. jump in here anywhere. But, you know, everyone from members who decide to be sponsors and donate. It's a thousand dollars for bronze sponsorship okay. and then it goes up from there. Uh, we've been very fortunate to have, I believe it's South Bay BMW, Forest yes. Lawn, Memorial Parks, nice. uh, many law firms, uh, yes. many, many physicians including Torrance Memorial Emergency Physicians Group and many individual physicians uh, on the hill as well. Yes. And uh, you, can you yeah. think of some additional ones to mention? Uh, well, there are a lot of the members actually are, are major donors, That's so uh, nice. which is really wonderful. Mm -hmm. And um, actually, Forest Lawn, they donate all of the flowers for the event oh, every year. So nice. they, in the, for the holiday, they donate all of the poinsettias and all of the centerpieces. And we, 
you know, it's such a, a beautiful gift, you know, that we're able to, to share with everyone. All the, all this, the, is, this has got to take you all year just to put this together, for sure. It it's does. Really it does. Yes. And it's really a handful of, would you say, Deb, maybe about between 40 and 50 women wow. that work pretty tirelessly, but also very well together, dividing up the work and, and making this happen. So there's no other organization that's hired that does uh -huh. things for us. We secure auction items ourselves. We secure corporate sponsors ourselves. We plan every single detail ourselves. So we have lots of small group meetings to, to be able to launch this. So it gives us a chance to exercise leadership. Multitasking. Multitasking. Yes. Multitasking. And women are we good at that. Are good at <laughs> Absolutely. And we get the job so done. And, and so it's the whole idea that if we all divide it up and we all contribute some time and some effort believe it or not, it just rolls. That's it's great. awesome. Yeah. Now, how can people get tickets? Tell us about that. Okay, you can buy tickets online. Okay. Uh, so you can go to um, the pvjuniors.org again. Great. And, and there's a little button. You can just push that little button and use your credit card and buy a ticket. Very nice. Uh, also, uh, there's there will be, um, if you know a PV Junior, ask them and they'll help you get a, get a ticket. So great. We, again, we'd love to have everyone and we're happy to send invitations. We have beautiful hard copy invitations. If anyone would like uh, a hard copy invitation mailed to them, That's so nice. to what friends, a personal touch they're actually is. coming to me, and uh -huh. I'd be very happy to give very nice. my email or to, to let people know. But certainly visit the website. Okay, that's great. And uh, that's the first place to go to find out more information. And, um, and, and the other thing we're doing is an opportunity drawing. And the opportunity yeah. drawing yeah. tickets are... Ten dollars a ticket, okay. and the there will be one winner. The winner will receive four nights at the Paris Las Vegas with oh, the theme yeah. of yeah, Paris. For the, yeah. Moulin Rouge. Moulin Rouge. Yeah. A thousand dollars to spend um, in the Vegas for four Vegas days. Vegas is always a great time. So, yes. so yeah. that's, and that's yeah. another. And again, all the proceeds from that opportunity drawing go straight to our philanthropies. Yes. So nice. everything goes to the bottom line directly to the charities and into the scholarship. So those two organizations, the, the children who are graduating and going on to college and the 10 philanthropies that we have determined this year will receive funds from us. Excellent. So all the proceeds. Yes. So we well, encourage the community to come out and support this. If people can't make it to the event, they can also send a check to nice. support they the can event. Donate. Yep. They can donate. Yes. They can buy opportunity tickets. Uh, we're also going to be at the farmer's market for several upcoming Sundays so the community can pop over to our little table at the farmer's market, buy some opportunity tickets, find out more about the event. When do you guys sleep? <laughs> Never. That doesn't no. fit that in. We sleep. No, we're, no, we're going to look at flowers today. There you so, go. Yeah, it's, we're working on the, the fabric and the curtains for uh, last night, and so it's... Until March, we, we probably won't sleep much. That's, yes, you work it all. <laughs> well, you worry, sure. too. You yeah. want it to be perfect <laughs> of and beautiful. Course. So. Well, I'm sure that it will be. And thank you so much for being here today with us and um, sharing all the information about the event. We're going to be there, of course. And Great. we're going to invite everybody to come out. Again, it's going to be March 16th at Trump National Moulin Rouge. So get your best duds on and come out and have a good time with us. It's going to be a lot of fun. Great. Thank, thank you, you so very much. Good. For having thank us. you so much for being with us, and thank you so much for watching. I'm Maria Soreo, and we'll see you next time around the peninsula.